In boxing, one punch can decide a fight in the blink of an eye. One punch can leave one fighter on the canvas looking lifeless, while another fighter is celebrating the victory as a testament to their dominance and determination as an electrifying entertainment for the audience. Sometimes that one punch can change the course of the fight, shouting to the world who the supreme warrior was on that tough night. It's a statement that needs no words, my friends, for its resounding power leaves no questions unanswered. And those previous facts took Juan Manuel Marquez approximately eight years and four months to achieve a knockout victory over Pacquiao. The first fight took place before Pacquiao was the household name he is today. It was just the second time he fought Vegas and didn't have marquee victories, whilst Marquez was a little more established, having fought in the U.S. for a decade. Pacquiao didn't want to wait and made an immediate statement in the first round by knocking down Marquez three times, and it didn't seem like the fight was going to last much longer. But the wily Dinamita regrouped quickly. It was the first turning point in the rivalry. Marquez quickly found out he wasn't capable of using a shot-for-shot -shot approach with Pac-Man. He shifted to a more defensive, counter-attacking style, and he's been enjoying it against him ever since. He was able to regain his composure, slow down Pacquiao, and fight all the way back to earn a draw. It was a terrific performance from both fighters. Fans didn't know it at the time, but it was a sign of things to come. Both fighters were disappointed and felt robbed, especially for Pacquiao after knocking Marquez down three times and expressed his will for a rematch to determine who's the best. Four years later, in 2008, their paths crossed again. A fight for the WBC Super Featherweight title featured more of the same, with both fighters landing some big shots. But yet again, neither could seal the deal with a the knockout they were itching for. Marquez was the more efficient fighter. He was choosing the moments wisely, hitting his shots with precision, and he landed 34% of his punches, which was 9% higher than Pacquiao. Though Pac-Man was more aggressive, throwing down with all he got. Ultimately, Pacquiao picked up the victory by split decision with two of the judges scoring 115 to 112 and 114 to 113 for Pacquiao while the third judge scored 115 to 112 in favor of Marquez. Knocking Dinamita down in the third round was the game changer for Pacquiao, and without it, another draw was the likely result. By the late stage of this fight, it became clear that the two fighters were perfect opponents. The contrasting styles ensured neither fighter was able to gain a clear advantage or an upper hand, adding to the intrigue so it's no surprise they would continue to feud until it's all settled. But at the end of the day, it's the knockdown that creates the one-point margin for Pacquiao. The third showdown came on November 12, 2011, and the main storylines remained the same. Pacquiao trying to take charge and set the tempo while Marquez was playing it cool, waiting for his golden opportunities to shift the momentum. These rivals went toe-to-toe -to -toe for a grueling 12 rounds. It was interesting because Marquez seemed more involved than he was in the previous two encounters, bringing more fire and passion to the ring, which led the fans at MGM Grand Garden Arena to be surprised when it was announced Pac-Man had scored another victory over his rival. That being said, the numbers ended up favoring Pacquiao, who landed more punches and power punches while also closing the efficiency gap. It was close, but he deserved the win. The official scores were 114 to 114, 116 to 112, and 115 to 113 for Manny Pacquiao over Juan Manuel Marquez, but the sellout crowd in Las Vegas disagreed. According to the Twitter accounts of many boxing writers at ringside, the fight was basically split down the middle, which lessened the outrage over time. Still
The fourth meeting on December 8, 2012 between these two fighters generated a significant amount of hype, and the bout still somehow managed to exceed expectations. It was clear from the start that Pacquiao was active, in shape, and ready to fight. It only took until the second round for the announcers to start gushing over Pac-Man's legendary straight left hand. But it was Marquez who landed the first blow, knocking down Pacquiao in the third round with a hard right hand. Nevertheless, the Filipino fighter was able to get up and regain control of the fight. In the fifth round, he evened the score by catching Marquez with a straight left hand and knocking down the Mexican fighter. With an advantage on the scorecard, Pacquiao just needed to avoid Marquez's lethal counterpunches. But in the sixth round, Marquez found an opening when Pacquiao attacked and landed a vicious punch directly to Pac-Man's face, which was the most devastating punch boxing great Juan Manuel Marquez would ever throw, and was also the blow that ended their feud in a conclusive fashion that Pacquiao was simply never the same again after 42 rounds in the ring over four nights. The Filipino was left lifeless, face down on the canvas at Las Vegas MGM Grand Garden Arena. There was briefly far greater concern than the fact that he had, for the first time in his celebrated career, suffered successive defeats. This is Marquez's first victory over Pacquiao and the first time any of their matchups ended early. The ending, however, shocked every one of the 20,000 customers who'd packed the Grand Arena at the MGM. This was a high-quality boxing drama in an era crying out for excitement. Damas y caballeros de Ciudad de México, Juan Manuel, Dinamita Marquez! Well, just to make it clear, was that... I knew I could be knocked out at any time, Marquez said later when he was coming at me in those last three rounds, but I threw the perfect punch. Pacquiao, once he'd recovered, responded, I was able to come back from the first knockdown, but the second one was a really good shot. After the bout, both warriors showed mad respect for one another in the post-interviews. Pacquiao gave props to Marquez, recognizing his six skills and the way he countered and fought. They both knew they had faced a worthy opponent in that ring, no doubt. KOs are the secret sauce that keeps boxing's appeal and popularity cooking. Sure, we love seeing the fancy footwork and slick moves, but when a boxer's power and precision collide in one earth-shattering moment, it's a recipe for a heart-stopping experience. It's like a flavor explosion that leaves us craving more. And here's the real kicker. Boxing history is rife with instances where judges' decisions made us scratch our heads in confusion and have sparked controversy and heated debates among fans and experts alike. And that's why securing a knockout saves us from the drama and controversy of dodgy decisions, as when a fighter knocks their opponent into oblivion, they snatch the win and take control of their own destiny, making sure to take the result out of the hands of some scorecards.